All right, so I've got my next component. Came in yesterday. Had some problems with my camera software on my phone. It came from too much light, maybe. It came from Guangdong, Shenzhen. Uh, again, I forget the eBay seller, but I will put the link to the product. Uh, came very quick. It only came a couple days after business days after the other uh, the other item, which came from a different eBay shipper. You can see the postage stamp says it shipped on uh, May 29th. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good again on the east coast of Canada where this came to, so that's pretty good. So I've already opened this. I already ended up unfortunately discovering that one of these was defective and the company is in the process of getting a replacement shipped out, so hopefully that will be soon. And I was putting a video together for them to show the voltage outputs from this unit so uh, and the defective unit so I've got the multimeter out so I'll make it part of this video and first thing is you can see here the minus and plus up near the USB connector so you can see that it's actually showing the voltage output from the USB charger which in this case I'm using a Samsung charger that came with my Galaxy S3 so you can see that it's got 5 volts coming in. Now you can solder a permanent connected power source to this if you wanted to or if you were going to use a different power source say from a leftover uh, ACDC power adapter you could attach the appropriate connector to this to receive the plug from said adapter. And over here you can see we have the output because this particular board is not just a charger board but as a charger and discharger controller board. And you can see 4.29, which is the maximum allowed voltage output, courtesy of this little chip right here. And here is the battery connections, and you can see it's got 2.3 volts, 3.6. So what the deal is with this is that it starts the voltage out low, and it will come up, and that's all controlled by this chip here. <clears throat> so that way it doesn't cook your lithium ion battery and that is pretty much it I am still waiting for the arrival of some 18650 battery holders but when those get here they will be soldered up and I will start charging some of my 18650s. I jerry-rigged a unit for this last night, made a discovery that a truly dead 18650 is redundant statement here, truly dead. I had some laptop batteries that I salvaged uh, that all read zero volts on the multimeter when I checked them, and I tried charging one just to see if it would come back to life, and it sat attached to this for upwards of two hours, and when I disconnected it, it was still dead. So, a zero volt red battery definitely comes back as zero volts, no matter how long it sits on the charger, I would bet. So, that is the next little fun toy I have ordered in. I have already ordered a different 18650 battery box and that battery box will take four batteries so it should have obviously if I choose the right ones out of the batteries I salvaged 33% more or 25% more depending on which direction you want to look at it uh, power capacity than the four battery unit that I have already put the video up on. My wife has become pretty keen on the idea of having an extra battery pack floating around. So I never took that off yet. And uh, so I ordered one for her because she thought it was a rather interesting uh, little thing that I was up to. So when that gets here and when anything else for all this gets here, I will put videos up on that as well, and thanks a lot.